Perfect. Perfect. What is going on everyone? I go by RB and this is Philly Take with RB. Now if you're a Sixers fan out there and you missed the NBA season, I'm going to need you to go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to stay updated on some great Philly content, we'll go ahead and hit that subscribe. We do not have any time to waste today, okay? And this is probably going to be me going on a crazy rant because let me tell you something. I am disappointed right now. I am in disgust. I am in dismay. From what I have read earlier today, okay? So, if you haven't seen already, I posted a video yesterday detailing a report from ESPN's Jackie McMullen, which talked about how Ben Simmons' back injury is, has dissipated. It's pretty much all but gone. And if the season returns or whenever it does return, Ben Simmons will be fully healthy, okay? That was from this ESPN article, and that was just the first part. I waited to make this video now because there's so much content in this article that we must talk about. And I, I wanted to separate the two because, look, in this article, Jackie McMullen talks to Ben Simmons not only about him shooting three-pointers, okay, not only about Joe Ellen Bede's relationship with Ben Simmons, and and also just how, how Ben Simmons has approached the game over the last couple years. And honestly, by the time we are done going through this, you will see, you will finally see I'm right. Brett Brown does not deserve to be the man coaching this team. Let's just get right into this, okay? So the first part of the article talks about Ben Simmons' mindset and you know the kind of person he is. So if you see right here on the screen, it says, a notion that the young Sixers star has is that he doesn't, he, he likes being challenged, okay? He loves that. He loves being put to the test. He knows he needs it even though he wishes he didn't. Quote from Ben Simmons, my weakness is that I have to have someone make me accountable. The goal is to be accountable myself. That's been a bit tough. It takes time. Now, what have I been saying the whole season? Accountability. Hold guys accountable. Ben Simmons sees that there is a lack. He needs someone to hold him accountable. And obviously, nobody has done that. These great players that hold themselves accountable, you know, like LeBron and Katie, all these great players, I'm tired of people neglecting the fact that there has to be a support system. These guys just don't have the talent they do day one and are just, you know, the perfect men and basketball players that they are. No, it takes time. It takes, go ahead and ask them. It takes a certain coach, a certain mentor, a certain influence in their life to make them the way they are. They don't just come out the gate like this. That's number one, okay? So as we go on in the article, they talk to his brother, who's also his agent, Sean Tribe. He says Ben loves to be different. He wants to make the correct move most of the time, not the wrong move. And that sometimes hinders his performance. You need to experiment with things. And sometimes you might fail. I completely agree. I see this in Ben Simmons' game. You know, there's nights when he doesn't want to come out, but even though he plays reserved, he plays structured, but it it doesn't look like he he's he he can fail. It looks like he really is afraid to fail. And obviously, people point right to the jump shot. I mean, yeah, he's right. Ben Simmons has to shoot the jump shot. He has to get accustomed to failing because that is how you get better. Okay, let's actually talk about that jump shot, okay? So the next part of the article goes in with Ben Simmons and Brett Brown and talks about Ben Simmons' jump shot, okay? So it says, instead Simmons, who the Sixers coach, we're talking about Brett Brown here, believes Philadelphia should be unequivocally embracing to. So without a doubt, we should just support him no matter what. And we do support our players, don't get that wrong has somehow come to symbolize the maddening shortcomings of the franchise itself. Well, you're damn right, Brett. We don't have enough shooting. And you're, you're, we're right, Elton Brand. You got to go out and get us more shooters. You should have never let JJ go. Okay, that's a different subject. This is a quote from Brett Brown, okay? Stay with me here. Because he is such a polarizing player, 
a unique athlete at an all-star level in a high-profile city, you zoom into the weakness he has, which is he won't shoot. I get it. Personally, I think it gets overblown. Brett Brown said that. Let me, let me just say, first off, for you to say it gets overblown, what a joke, okay? It gets overblown? So the, the Philly fans, the ones who support this guy day in, day out, and we want to see him reach that max potential, we want to see him get better, and we overblow it because it's potentially holding us back from going to the conference finals, to going to the finals, to winning a championship? You know, maybe that Toronto series ends different last year. Ben Simmons shoots a damn jump shot or two each game. I mean, I mean, I can't believe these are words coming from Brett Brown, okay? Let's go on. Let's go on. He talks about Ben Simmons and in December, when he connected on a three-pointer against Cleveland, you remember that? It was only one of two that he shot the whole damn year. And I've referenced this multiple times throughout the year. Brett Brown announced that he expected Ben Simmons to take a minimum of one three-pointer per game for the rest of the season and to pass it along to his agent, his family, and his friends. Now, I've been saying the whole time, this is this shows his lack of discipline here because, no, we're not going to pass it to his agent. We're going to pass it to you. You have to be the one to give him the information. You have to put your damn foot down, Brett. You have to be the one to get this guy going. I'm tired of hearing people Say, oh, Ben, I mean, part of it is Ben Simmons' fault. He has to have the intrinsic motivation to do it himself. But what did I say earlier? This guy is 23 years old. He's not at that mature stage yet. He needs that that good coach to push him over the ledge sometimes, to get him out of his comfort zone, to hold him accountable. We're not going to go tell his agent to tell him to shoot. That is your job, Brett. That is your job. He went and, and declared that in December. We remember that. And Simmons has attempted just two in the subsequent three months. Two three-pointers. Some people put so much emphasis on it. This is a quote from Ben Simmons. It's a little too much. It's a little too much? What are you talking about, Ben? It's a little too much. It's holding us back as a franchise. We don't know where the hell to play you. Let's go on even farther. We go down more in the article. Brown is asked whether he feels that the declaration of that statement he made in December backfired. I said it because I meant it. I was my way of trying to give him a nudge. A nudge, Brett? You want to give him a nudge? What do you want to? You want to freaking put put a little blankie over him and, and, and tuck him in at night and like, oh, we hope you shoot threes tomorrow. What do you want to do with this guy, Brett? What do you want to give him a nudge? You need to put your damn foot down. Hold these guys accountable. Be a leader. That is what we need. A leader of men. Simmons agreed to work with a sports psychologist. This guy is working with a sports psychologist and still will not shoot the ball. While Sixers personnel, friends, and teammates have tried and failed. Highlight that word in the article. Failed. They failed to instill the necessary impudence to get him over the hump. I should hang this article on the wall of the clubhouse in the Sixers. I should hang it on my bedroom. If the Sixers were to offer me a coaching job, I would not be surprised. Like, I have said this the whole damn season. Even you guys have said this with me. Simmons says, I know it's going to come. It's a matter of me being comfortable doing it. Some of that is getting reps in. I can take a hook shot from the elbow. Listen, listen closely because I've done it so many times, but with threes, it's never been like that. I have to make it a point of emphasis. I could be one of those guys shooting 30% right now, but I'd rather be one of those guys shooting 40%. <laughs> so you're telling me, Ben, you could be shooting 30% right now, but you won't do it until you hit that 40% mark. Stop with the crap. Okay. Matter The fact of the matter is, I believe Ben Simmons has a solid jump shot. I think he needs to shoot. So why won't you do it? If you can shoot over 30%, you're just an average shooter in the league. What the hell are you waiting for? I can shoot 30% right now. 
Come on. I mean, this goes back to what his brother was saying or whoever it was. He's scared to fail. That that takes a leader to get it out of him, to develop him. Now, Boyle, this is Kevin Boyle from Montverde High School, who was his high school coach when he came over from Australia, says he's well aware of the internal battle his former player grapples with. People don't realize it can they can lack confidence. It becomes a mental thing. Well, thank you for stating the obvious, Mr. Kevin. I keep telling him you have nothing to be embarrassed about. Listen, listen. You're one of the best players in the world. You're dating a supermodel. So if you struggle and start out one for 20, so what? Does Kevin Boyle want to come coach the Sixers? Does he want to come coach the Sixers? He has to get past, I don't want to read people saying I can't shoot. Well, right now they're saying you won't shoot and that's worse. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I mean... If I could be spitting out these quotes right now all damn day, I would. We have been, How long have we been saying this? Kevin Boyle, how, how, let's listen to this. He offered his solution on how to coax Simmons into action. Threaten him. Kevin Boyle, if you are out there and you're watching this video, I like please go to the Sixers organization. Elton Brand, please talk to this guy. Threaten him. It's a technique. Boyle insists that Simmons has responded to before. It has worked before. Threaten him. If I were in charge of the Sixers, I would tell him, if you don't take a pull-up jump shot and a perimeter shot in each half, I don't care about your percentages. You are sitting. Why does Brett Brown not do that? Why? No accountability, no discipline. These guys play and do whatever the hell they want. And that's why we are in the situation we want. It gets even better. This is like the juiciest of the juiciest now. This is the conversation Brown. Brown, Brett Brown sat down with Ben Simmons and his family last summer. Okay. He's coached his dad. He's known Ben since he was a baby. They watched film of Magic Johnson to watch how he plays the point guard position, how he's a point forward, okay? They watched him take three-pointers. They watched how he developed his IQ. And this is the worst part of it all. Brett Brown told Ben Simmons, if you are not willing to shoot, then do I just bench you? Brett Brown said that to Ben Simmons. If you are not willing to shoot, then do I just bench you? Because I can do that. So you're telling me, the, the coach of this team filled with, with studs, with talent, is asking one of the main stars, should I bench you if you don't shoot? I can do that. What? What? I mean, I figured something was going on like this, but to, to be this exact, to be this embarrassing, where, like, who wears the pants in this player-coach relationship? Who wears the pants? Put your foot down, Brett. How? How can Elton Brand, how can other people of this organization read this article and f have confidence in this man going forward? This alone, Brett Brown should be fired tomorrow. Sh fired. The last part of the article talks about Joel Embiid's relationship with Simmons. They Apparently, they've worked together. There's no beef like the media tries to speculate. Joel Embiid says, we've had conversations, especially when it comes to shooting. Ben can help me a lot. I feel like I've helped him with a lot with his game. People keep saying, oh, you have to stop spending time on a three-point line. Well, damn right you do, Joe. I'm. It's not really your fault. I'm sorry the coach doesn't put his foot down and tell you that. But I do it because Ben is such a good driver. Going to the basket, I've got to open that up for him. I would like if he does the same for me to start shooting threes, but I also know how uncomfortable he is with it. Well, I'm, I'm glad you noticed that too, Joe, and you should not be at the three-point line. Even if Ben Simmons doesn't shoot, it doesn't matter. You can't even shoot well yourself, so I'm glad you guys are helping each other. I'm glad you guys are together, but in, in all, overall... We need a new leader. We need a voice, a guy who will come in here and not only take this talent 
and, and let them do whatever the heck they want. A guy who will develop these players because it is not every single day, ladies and gentlemen, that you get players like Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid together in the same atmosphere. And they have to be utilized the right way. These guys are capable of winning a championship together. These guys can be so freaking good together. And if if this doesn't hit you in the face, if all the Brett supporters out there, if this doesn't show you, I don't know what will. I really don't. I mean, just some of the things we talked about today. It is just sad. And I'm I apologize for going on so long, but it's just how I feel. We need a different guy to step up and put their foot down and set the tone. Let me know all your guys' thoughts down below on Ben Simmons and this whole article and everything else we went over here today. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.